In this video, we're going to have a look at the first exponential law, the multiplication law. This is exponential notation. The b in the exponent indicates the number of a's in the base that are multiplied. If, for example, I have 3 to the power of 4, it means that there are 4 3's that are being multiplied with each other. From the exponential notation, there also flows exponential laws. These are shortcuts to do calculations even more effectively. Here we now have 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 7. This means that we have 5 2's that are being multiplied by another 7 2's. To rewrite this in the shorter exponential form again, you have to now count all these 2's and you will see that you have 12 2's, so that's 2 to the power of 12. And now we can form law 1. Instead of writing out all the base numbers as we did in our example, you can simply remember that when you are multiplying with the same base numbers, you can simply keep that base the same and focus on the exponents. And when you add them, you will get the total number of these base values that are being multiplied. Example 1. Simplify and leave your answer in exponential form. In the first example, we have 3 to the power of 8 times 3 to the power of 2. That means we have 8 3's that should be multiplied by another 2 3's. Using our exponential law, we can simply say 8 plus 2 in the exponent, and that will give us an answer of 3 to the power of 10, meaning that 10 3's are being multiplied. In example 2, we now have a whole lot of 5's being multiplied, and according to our law, we can add the exponents. It is important to realize that the second base 5 has an exponent of 1, so that when we now add our exponents, we will have 5 to the power of 22. In example 3, we now have 3 base numbers that should be multiplied, but only 2 of them are the same base numbers. So here we can put all the 2's together, and using our law and adding the exponents, we will have 2 to the power of 11, meaning that 11 2's are being multiplied. This should then also be multiplied by 3 to the power of 5. It is very important to know that you are not allowed to multiply the base numbers when working with the exponential laws. So, in this case, we cannot multiply the base of 2 and 3 to get a new base of 6. So, this will be our final answer. In example 2, we now have variables, but the law stays exactly the same. The multiplication law determines how many of a specific base number is being multiplied. So here we can use the law for the base of x and we will have x to the power of 10 when we add the exponents. This should also be multiplied by all the y's and if we once again apply our new law and add the exponents we will have y to the power of 5. This is our final answer because we are multiplying two different base variables which cannot now be combined. In number 2, it is now important to distinguish between those values that are straightforward constants and those that are written in exponential form. For our two constants, we are straightforward going to multiply them and 3 times 11 is 33. For our variables, which are in exponential form, we can use the exponential law and add the two exponents. So here we'll have x to the power of 17. So in this video, we saw that when we are multiplying base numbers that are the same, we can keep that base number the same and simply add the exponents.